the surprisingly competent Core i5-11400F is a tiny beast of a CPU. Nonetheless, it's only fair that we compare it to Team Red's cheapest offering among their latest Zen 3 processors, the Ryzen 5 5600X. Make sure to watch until the end to find out whether you really need to be spending more for AMD or you'll be just fine sticking to Intel's newly crowned budget champ. At first glance, the specifications show that the Ryzen 5 5600X will vastly outperform the Core i5-11400F. However, it's also clear why, since Team Red's cheapest Zen 3 offering costs nearly twice as much as the 11400F at its MSRP. The base clock speed of the Ryzen 5 is much higher than that of the i5, while its boost clock is another 200 MHz higher than that of Team Blue. Both have the same advertised thermal design power. However, this means little since in real use cases, the power draw of both chips will be higher. In order to see just how much these two processors differ in terms of performance, let's turn to the benchmarks. The 1080p gaming benchmarks show the Ryzen 5600X being mostly ahead of the i5-11400F. The only exceptions were Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Red Dead Redemption 2, two very GPU-intensive games that both have equal average frame rates on both processors. Cyberpunk 2077 sees a slightly higher frame rate on the 11400F, but this difference is a toss-up between either, so your mileage may vary. The largest variation in FPS is shown in Metro Exodus, with the Ryzen 5 gaining 12 frames per second over the Core i5. And the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there will be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me. Good luck. You can rely on us. It goes without saying that for games, paying nearly double for a slight increase in frame rate does not seem all that worth it. Moving on to CPU intensive productivity workloads. Starting off with a Cinebench R20 multi core benchmark. Moving on to the single core workloads.
the 7-zip file manager compression test. The decompression test. The SSC MT performance test. The Chromium Code Compile test. The DaVinci Resolve 4K benchmarks. The Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 Benchmark The Adobe Photoshop 2020 Test And finally, the Blender Open Data Render Times Unlike the Gaming Benchmark, the productivity results for the two CPUs give a very binary result. The Zen 3 based 5600X is clearly much faster than Intel's Rocket Lake budget counterpart. Users primarily aiming for a workstation build would appreciate the added performance and faster render times provided by Team Red, even if it means it would cost them much more. On the other hand, it is impressive to see the results of the i5-11400F often surpassing the i5-10600K, which was a much pricier processor at launch. If you're planning on solely gaming on your PC, there really is only one way to go, and that is Intel. But this is not because they've got the more powerful gaming processor. In fact, it is only because of the enormous demand and supply constraints that have affected the Ryzen 5000 series that you will be better off with the 11th gen Intel. Currently, the Ryzen 5 5600X sells for 450 US dollars on Amazon. In contrast, the street price of the i5-11400F is only $174. Well, it's simply foolish to spend $276 more for a 10 FPS game. Gamers are better off with the newly crowned budget champ, the 11400F. On the other hand, if you're a workstation or productivity user on a budget, you might need to consider going for a Ryzen 5 5600X. It clearly outperforms the Intel counterpart in productivity workloads by quite a margin and since time is money, you'll probably be glad you chose AMD in the long run. If ever this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button. Also subscribe so you'd be updated with our latest videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.